Our next contestant, Hello. contestant number 13. Singhua. <laughs> Opinions. Opinions, Singhua. Hey there, mate. Nice weather today. Thanks. Wait a minute. That doesn't sound right. He was talking about the weather, not me. Oh, what must he think of me now? He must think that I'm stupid. I'm sure all of you here in the audience have such similar experiences before. It's embarrassing, it's awkward, and downright unpleasant. But why do we feel this way? Because, because their opinions matter. Ever since we were a child, we were taught facts, and we were taught how to perceive this world. One plus one equals two. Apples are red, not blue. These are considered as facts. But what if I tell you facts are just opinions? 2,000 years ago, majority of the people believed that the Earth is flat. In today's society, this is truly just false. This is unacceptable. But back then, majority think it's true. What does this show? This shows that facts can change. Who knows, 10, 20, 30 years later, and even centuries later, the Earth may not be round after all. Henceforth, the Earth is round and that facts can change. Now, everything is relative. That is the fundamental theory in physics. To better illustrate this, I want all of you here to imagine. Imagine if I were to isolate a person. This person was to not come in contact with anybody, not even his family, just books. Where do we get his knowledge from? Books containing facts. Now, I am then to show this person two pictures. If I were to show two pictures to the audience, one of me, one of a celebrity, let's say Marilyn Monroe, the audience would point at my picture and say, oh, who is this girl? She looks bland, plain, and unattractive. Whereas they would point at Marilyn Monroe and say that, oh, she's beautiful, she's stunning, she's a goddess. These very two different responses. But if I were to show the same exact picture to this person, this isolated person, this person would just simply say, you're both unique. What does this show? It shows that how we perceive this world and our mindset is controlled by the society around us. Let's be more specific, by the people who we interact with. Now, we are altered by the people around us. Our minds are shaped according to their standards. It's like perfect little cubes. The society is like our molds. We, our minds, are perfect little cubes, free from originality and creativity. We are forced to conform to these standards. We are like sheep, blind sheep that follow to these standards and conform to it. But can we change? Can we be any different? After all, if we were not to follow these standards, we would be criticized, discriminated, and ostracized by society. This is the sad reality we're living in. Henceforth, I warn you, I warn all of you here, to view this world as a cynic, to view this world with a skepticism, for you shall never be able to escape from the world and its opinions. Thank you. <laughs>